After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out. County Detention Center for six years. I worked up in the towers when I first started working here and it was a good job, however, it was a little slow. I transferred down to booking and I haven't looked back. call for a code 5 male that's coming in. That just means that an inmate is coming in either physically resisting or combative. He came in on a DV, but he was able to be talked down and he chose to walk in, which is definitely a better way that saves us from the extra work. Hopefully he can remain calm. If he doesn't, then he'll end up in the side cell. Basically, he got arrested for uh, battery domestic violence, assault with deadly weapon, uh, intimidating a PO, and uh, malicious destruction of county property. He decided to kick out our rear window of our patrol car. So that's why he's here. That's why he's down here. Thank you so much. It's, it's too tight, man. Come on. Hang that off, sir. He's very up and down, and that's actually really common for Code Fives that come in, and they choose to walk in, but then any little thing can escalate the situation, and their mood can change. <laughs> See, I just, I really don't think he's going to make it. He will end up in a side cell because we can't have this kind of attitude out here in pre rest where the other inmates can see. I respect you, you respect me. Once inside the side, so we're going to do another pat search on him to make sure we didn't miss anything from the first time. He's going to stay in here until he can sober up and cool down. And he's getting very upset. However, we need him to hold still until we can leave safely. And now that he's uh, secured in the side, so I'm sure he'll talk and yell a little bit. If he continues with the head slamming, he'll have to be removed and taken up to isolation. But we'll, that's definitely what we're going to do here. And the officer's job is to monitor him while he's in the side cell. Hey, Sergeant Geller, he's banging his head pretty bad. Chill out. Don't respect, respect me. I respect you. Huh. Too much liquor, too much drugs. Man, that, that, that's hey. nothing but respect. Give me her. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not respect. It's true. Almost threw up in my mouth a little bit. I'm OK, though. You talk about respect, and then you talk like that to one of the female officers. That ain't respect. How would you like it if it was your daughter, huh? What would you do if some guy got your daughter's face and licked his tongue like he's some animal? You don't talk to my officer like that. Understood? Understood. He's all talk. You're forgiven. <laughs> Tomorrow he'll be a totally different guy. Stand right here on the mat. Use the wall for me. Get your feet up. Oh, yeah. You? So you know that, well, he's transsexual. Oh, OK. So, so where is? That's for you. Where were you at tonight? I was at the commercial center. Right now. Oh, walking? Oh. No, standing. I'm standing. Was there a party? You went to a club or something? Yeah. Yeah? Hi, sir. I said it was going to well. You said you were at a club tonight? Mm -hmm. So how come you're here, though? What happened? Somebody picked me up and then trapped me. They want to pay you for sexual favors? Yeah, I told him I would pay to clean, to wash the dishes, to oh, clean his house. Oh, that's just being silly. We both know what that's about. Well, they're going to pay one way or another. Either they're going to pay up front, they're going to pay, you know, by dinner and gift and flowers mm -hmm. to get it. But 
they're always going to end up paying at the end. So. Uh -huh. All right, he's going to change you out, OK? Yes, we are. OK. The male officer is going to go in with him and just verify whether he's a male or female. And that way, it helps us to segregate him. And again, that's just for his safety. Can I ask you personal questions? Do you of mind? Of course. OK. Yeah. How long have you been transgender? Yeah. Well, I've been transgender all my life, but how long have I been living as That's a woman? That's what I'm asking you, absolutely. About eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Okay. Has it been harder for you, or of you just... Of course it's hard, you know. People discriminate against, you know. Just because they don't understand it and it's different, you know, they have to... They don't understand it, so they get scared, so they, you know... Yeah. They don't like it. Do you find uh, people more accepting here in Vegas or back in California? No, in Vegas, people just come here to... Uh, Terrorize the town for the weekend, break everything, they don't trash care, everything, right? and they go back home. Like you know, oh, I'm a good person, you know. Have a seat, relax. The tattoo on your right arm, what's that about? That's a green beret. Why? What, are, what does that mean to you? What does that mean to me? Yeah, what's the meaning behind it? Because I was in the green beret. Really? Yeah. How long ago? Twenty-five. Oh my God, how old am I now? Twenty-eight years ago. How long were you in there for? Five years. Right. You see, what a turn out. <laughs> well, you got a sense of humor about it. Well, when you look like me, you have to. I guess. Otherwise, you have a tough life. You're right. It's a better attitude to have. Let's go into the next room. I'm going to have you have a seat in the back row on the left-hand side. Yeah, just... Mel's over there in the back row. You can have it on the very last chair. If you need something, you raise your hand, like water, restrooms, phones. Good luck to you, Kelly. Just, he's got a great sense of humor about the whole thing, though, but he's right. I mean, he's got a tough life, so you might as well laugh about it. But he'll go through this process, get out of here, and hopefully a better life for him. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. When the inmate comes in, we like to size them up, we'll ask them questions, we'll give them basic commands, and that'll let us know if they're a yes or a no inmate. Because we need to be able to keep order in here once they come into our facility. You know, if somebody starts getting out of hand and we don't do something about it, well, then it starts a chain reaction with everybody else. Oh, yeah. Here, sit there. No, let me sit there. No, yes. you don't get a choice. The girls sit oh, back here. Oh, come on. Oh, just sit down. Why Don't are you be nasty. I'm not being nasty yes, to you. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm nasty yes, to you because you, you have to sit in the back and you can't sit in the front. He is you're, nice. You're being extremely rude, though. So apparently she ran into a curb. They had her on camera, and she cleverly gets out of the driver's seat, goes around to the passenger seat, thinking that would keep her from getting a DUI. Unfortunately, no, she failed our sobriety test in the uh, open container of... Manhattan was in there. So. so this is her second one this year. Second one this year. And then one back in 94. Yes. <laughs> so how fast were you driving when you hit the curb? I didn't really know I hit the curb. Oh, you didn't? No. And what is this we're doing? Pardon me? It's called a blood draw. For what this reason? This is what I read you in the car. Okay. Yeah, you read you your rights, and now you're getting blood draw because you, you were drinking and driving. Uh, no, I wasn't drinking and driving. Okay. The rim is broken. The tire is flattened, and the rim is broken. You hit it pretty hard. No. Yeah, actually, it is. You had to hit something pretty hard to do that. Okay. Gotcha. All right, Santa for me, ma'am. <laughs> I have never done this before. Bobby, no. Yeah, you were just here in March. I don't this care. is the same thing. I didn't show you my belly button you before. Yeah. What the hell? Is. You're disgusting. You know that? You are, you're a disgusting woman. 
Well, Thank Bobby, you. I've I heard understand words. you're okay. angry, but you don't got to take your anger out on the officers that are here. I do when they are being mean to me, and she is being mean to me. No, she's not. She's being mean to me. Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and isolate you in a side cell, wait from everybody else, because the officers Great. really don't need your uh, disrespectful Great. comments. Yeah. Listen, can I ask you all something? That time's over. Can I ask you all something? Go ahead and lay her down on the bunk there. There you go. Ow! Ow! Ow. Relax. You stay right there. Don't move until the door shuts. Let's roll my glasses. Roll my glasses. I hope you're all proud. Just trying to finish it up. As soon as we started talking about uh, taking off the pantyhose, that's when she really lost it and refused to cooperate. Is it your first time getting a DUI? Six years ago, Six years ago in California? Yeah. Put your hands on top of your head. So you, uh, you were running away from your husband and get, to get away from him, because you said, was he, did you say he was hitting you? He hit you? I barely heard two times from him. Has he ever gone to jail for that? Yeah. All the way down to the end, sit in the first seat. She tells us she's been drinking all night. She uh, says that her and her husband had an argument and just as the third time she's been in jail. And uh, she's been arrested for domestic violence several times. Husband's been twice. So it's Does she had her kids in the car and they weren't in their seatbelts? No, none of them had seatbelts on. There's oh four, four kids in the car. It's a good thing you guys went, showed up when you did. So, Ruby, do you think you're going to be going back to your husband? I just want husband? my children back. Yeah. Have a seat right here. Ruby. I know you were talking to me about how you had a history about you have a time? Yeah, but you guys never bring him to jail. And it's every time you guys never take him, and he talks such a And I know I drink, I do, but I wasn't drinking and, and taking off and driving like, you know what, I know it's wrong still. I'm not excusing that. Sure, I understand but that. But what he does is so much worse. This is a copy of your charges, that's for you. You know, when you get in the next room, sit with the girls on the right and don't talk to the fellows on the left. Listen up for your name and don't get up without asking, all right? Go straight ahead. First row on the right. And we'll see. I mean, she's got some pretty good charges, but she might be able to qualify for an OR. I don't know. I think she probably will, but she's actually lucky with her kids in the car. They could have charged her with more. They could have charged her with child, child endangerment. They didn't do that, so um, she kind of got lucky. Are you feeling a little bit better now that you slept it off a little bit? No? I feel fine. Feel fine? Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So we just want to get you through this. As long as you don't, you know, I know you were agitated earlier, and hopefully you're not agitated now, and get you processed. And we can get you out of here, OK? You think you can do that? Great. Sarge, I think she'll be fine. She's also yeah. playing a little bit of denial. That's all right. Whatever works. All right, come on over here. You're going to sit with the girls on the right-hand side. Don't talk to the fellas. Okay. We'll uh, give her a chance and just monitor her behavior out here. Yeah, I think she'll be okay now. She's sober up. Reality is setting in. You know, thinking about everything. I think she'll be fine and be able to continue the process and go home. Correction sergeants tasked with supervising approximately 20 to 25 corrections officers. Our job's a difficult one. We do see people at their worst, an emotional, uncontrolled state often, and uh, incidents of violence are common, and that's probably one of the most difficult uh, parts uh, or functions of a corrections officer. Right over here, ma'am. Stand right there. Move him over. Please that way. 79th meals, raise the plates. Uh, no, no, not at all. Okay. Have you ever been here before? I have. Yeah? Like warrant. You missed the warrant. Cleaning packets, everything. I'm clean. I'm pretty much a squirter. Pretty much a what? Squirter. Nice work. Dental hygienist, and um, pretty much that's it. Hygienist during the day, stripper during the night. So what's going on with her? She ran in the back of a lady in an accident. She worked in the Tavos Club. I was out drinking all night and crashed over on Twain and Narville. Wow. And then she's trying to be flattering and flirting to get out of a DUI, which is over the limit. 
when we arrested her. We found a small bag of marijuana that she had. So she's alcohol and she's been smoking dope all night driving a car. So we're going to draw her blood and do her breath and charge her with DUI and uh, position uh, narcotics. Is that it? Work. That's work. You got in an accident? I, I didn't stop on time. I guess I was going fast. But I barely hit him. It was like five miles an hour. And whatever. I'll take responsibility for it. I'm not tripping. I don't like to argue with people. So you know what? I'll pay for it. She breath or blood? Breath first and blood. Come on, let's go talk to the nurse. Go see the nurse real quick. Don't bang your head. Do not bang your head, sir. Do your own cops tell you're corrupt. Do not bang your head. Just have a seat, sir, right now. All right, right now. What are you here for? For nothing. I don't even know. It's nothing. For my girlfriend beating me up. Oh, yeah, you'll be here for a little while then. Yeah. Yeah. She has no scratches on her, and everybody else told her that she beat me up. Come on, phone call real quick. Are you from Vegas? Chicago. Okay. Here's the deal in Vegas. Never gotten a problem in my life. Ever. Here's the deal. Let me explain how. Let me explain how you got here. Okay. Let me explain how you got here. You guys are corrupt, and that's fine. My dad told me. My dad's a lawyer in Chicago. He knows what you guys are. There, he's basically beating up on, I think it's his wife. And he got arrested for DV. He was all calm, acting like he needed medical beforehand. Since we got jail, I started acting all crazy. So he was kind of asleep in your car? Yeah. Woke him up to get him in here. And then as soon as I got to the door, he started going nuts. Maybe he realized that he's going to jail. I don't know. Wow, and he beat up his wife. Mm-hmm. Wow. Don't break my hand! Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. Calm down, man. Calm down. Calm down. What makes you better than me? I work for a living. I pay my tax. Because some lady says that I have told her to leave my apartment. Calm down. It's my apartment. I did nothing wrong. I just got home from work. I got punched in the face twice, and now I'm in jail. You haven't had nothing to drink since you got off work at 108 degrees. When it break it, break it. Punch me in the face. What is this, like Rodney King just reverse? I wanted to call my dad, who's a lawyer. I'm not saying nothing. Then you hold me in jail forever. Because I'll never say nothing until I get my dad here. I hope you guys can meet your maker. What's going on? I didn't have no problems with my wife. She woke me up by slapping me twice. That was it. Where do you guys get these problems from? I'm just trying to find out. Ask the neighbors. Ask anybody. I didn't talk. Look at my hands, dude. Come on. I got no scratches. I got no hands. All I got is where she slapped me. And you guys arrest me? You want you understand my point of view? I've done nothing. I've never had a felony in my life. I've done nothing, dude. I've done nothing. I'm not even kidding. I've done absolutely nothing, dude. Nothing. I'm concerned right now about your behavior. And right now you're... I'm frustrated. I, I totally understand that. So that's why you're I'll sleep there. somewhere else. Okay. I'll go. I'll run a motel room. Just try to relax. <laughs> Signed by the three red X's. For your money, these two for your property. Okay, um, purse, high heel shoes. I have high heel shoes on? Yes. No, I have... Either on or in your property. You had them in your purse, I think. Oh, you had okay, those my, my, my stripper clothes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you had those boots. Okay. Okay, here's your copy of your charges. Okay. okay. Remember the rules for sitting out here in open booking? Okay. I can use the phone, though, correct? Yes. So did you learn your lesson, you think? About what? Drinking and driving. That's why you're here. You don't I'm remember? not really a drinker, to be honest with you. Drugs, drink. Marijuana, yeah, but to be honest, I'm not that kind of like, I don't do it on a daily basis, you know, one or two shots. I guess I shouldn't have been driving off of a shop, but and they stopped suddenly. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, you... I, I suppose I learned my lesson, you know? No doubt about that at all. All right, live and learn. Coming out this way. You're going to call your name. Our fender here in the restraint chair, approximately an hour and 15 minutes. 
How you feeling? Doing good. You're doing good? Yeah. Okay, let, let me explain what we're going to do here, okay? We're going to take you out of the chair. The officer's going to give you specific commands, all those commands, okay? Then we're going to start you in the process, and then you just get you through it as quick as possible. Okay? Any questions about that? Can my socks? Can you have your socks? Yeah. I think we can find your socks. I get, like, okay. I don't know. I just don't like not wearing socks. Yeah, yeah. We have sandals. Um, yeah, we got some sandals over there. All right. This man came to us uh, charged with domestic violence uh, and another example of uh, how we see citizens in uh, their worst condition and uh, hopefully by the time he leaves here uh, he will have uh, straightened up and got his life on track. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. detention center in Las Vegas is very entertaining. I see people from all over the world. They come here on vacation and they think they have access to anything and that no rules apply to them. And that's just because we have the gambling, we have money, women, alcohol, and that combination is what gets them into trouble. Come on, ladies. Brian, what, what do you do? I'm a singer and I'm a drummer. What do you drummer. sing? Sing and drum. I sing about the survival and the hope of life. What kind of music? Like, I was always in like classic metal, you know? Classic. But my originals come out like something you hear on the Light 102 channel. He was singing some sick stuff in the car. You know, like. <laughs> you mean like classic? Standing in my shadow, and I'm dealing with what life is dealing me. We're living in a world of frown. Take these off. Keep singing them. Right now. Take your jacket. Right now. Very nice. Wow. Did you hear that? Get some backup vocals. Yeah. That's impressive, sir. Mm -hmm. Now. Go down the second row. Sit in the last chair and wait for medical to call you. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. No, thank, thank you. you, sir. I'm just stand over here and sing my song, sorry. Right? What did you bring him in for? He's got a Nobel warrant for drugs. How'd you find him? He was uh, sitting at a rock. I was sitting at a rock uh, bar and they asked him to leave, so the bouncers called us up because he was refusing to leave. Okay. But uh, yeah, he, he knows the uh, bartender pretty well, he was saying. But, and he sang to you the whole way down here? Yeah, the whole way, and then I, I had to ask him to stop so he could save his voice and serenade the uh, people at CCDC. Totally appreciate that. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> I smoked the best pot you're ever going to smoke in your life a couple, couple hours ago. You know, just a little shot, just a little shot of THC, just a little shot of THC, boom, boom, just a little shot of THC, boom, boom. Oh, oh! Come on, rock star, let's go. Do you, do you have a, a song to fit this situation right now? <sighs> Express yourself. What do you feel like in song right now? What do I feel like in song right in now? In song. Jimmy Rock's going down, 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 down. In a ring of fire. <laughs> but the only thing that I'm worried about is if I'm doing this at like 50 years old, you know? If I never got that record deal, that's what I'm worried How about. How old are you now? 38. You got plenty of time. You're gonna get that record deal. Come on. Let's go back. But Metro. What about Metro? Metro's got mad love for Jimmy Rock, though, don't they? Have a seat. Sammy. Time to relax. All right, you gonna be okay for a minute? Yeah, I'm just thinking of um, my um, my next number one hit. Because this is all just temporary, you know? Absolutely, do you write? I write, you gotta hear my songs. They're, I wrote a country hit. You don't sing country. Yeah, I did. Everywhere we go, we got our job site, radio. Huh? Keep going. You like that? I'm feeling it, but keep going. Come on. Well, we come back from the weekend, and things were slow, but all we heard was that job side radio. It's a mega hit. 
Wouldn't Big and Rich and um, Toby Keith buy that song? I could totally picture them singing Job music. site radio? Yeah, job Everywhere site radio. Everywhere we go, we got our job site radio. That's cool. You're very creative. I am. Keep Everybody singing. I'll be right back. Hi, James. James. Hey, James. Mark. Just trying to call out and get you out of there. Mark. Mark. Hi, how are you? Jim. Jim? Vietnam, Vietnam. Turning. Awesome, you rock. Can you spread your feet for me, please? That's because you're amazing. Spread your feet. You ever think sharp on anything that could cut me, make me cry? Okay. I appreciate knowing that, sir. I ain't doing nothing. You're a funny guy. Officer Clark, he's very touchy, Billy. Look at, see this officer right there? You see that officer right there? That's Officer Leha. Can you sing for her? A ballad. I'm gonna tell you one more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a rock star. Are they the rock this is inmate karaoke. You're next. Think of the song you're gonna well, sing. No, I don't want to make karaoke. I don't think yeah. Okay, those are some awesome vocals, sir. We Maybe you should let him sing more. How does that not make you happy? No, I don't want to bother you. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. You're awesome. No, because you're in control of your little law. I can't say the real thing. You, you're like, uh, come on. See what I'm saying? There's your buddy. I'm Go with your buddy. Beat now. <laughs> He's not going to hurt you. He's a big teddy bear. Let's go. Wait, wait. Let me get you out of these chains, all right? But they tell me I'm, you know, I'm delusional and, you know. No. What is your story? My story is um, I come across the country all by myself, you know, to try to achieve my rock and roll dreams because I got so much pain. I got pain. I, I can you see know? the pain. I went to Florida in 03. Can I top your head, sir? Because I was stabbed eight times in my chest. Oh, let me Wait. see that stab wound again. Oh, you got you. You're not. Wait, Where, where's that stab wound at? I have a seat, Sorry, Deloach. Um, right here. Right. Well, I ha OK, listen to the officer, and then we'll eight talk. Eight times, you know? OK, listen to the officer real quick. Go ahead. What were you doing tonight to get you brought in here? I went to Jackson's bar, and I was just looking for this guitar player, and one of the bar bouncers decided that he was going to check my ID and everything, and so I wouldn't leave. I guess the bartender actually called Metro, because they, they can't handle a true star like me. They can't handle a New York, Baltimore, true rock and roll wild heart like me. It's time for your property. So we can get you rolling. I must keep my dreams alive because there's too many people telling me to shut up. And we're not telling you shut up because we really like your music and all, but you know in the next room, you can't be uh, as loud as you were in the front room, okay? No, you got a fence one, right? Yeah, that's why it's I'm here, right? It's thing, yeah. Okay, you're gonna sit on Thanks, the left-hand side. Don't speak with the women. Wait it's a crazy hand. night. Right, right. I get some entertainment, but this has probably been the best stuff I've seen in a long time. Hopefully officers out here appreciate his music as much as we did out for your rest. with Metro for approximately 20 years, 13 of which I've been a sergeant. I handle daily administrative tasks like scheduling, um, but in addition to that, I roam the floor, make sure we're operating properly, booking people in according to the law. At the end of the day, my number one goal is to leave here with my staff in the same condition that we came in every day for work.
I need a drink. That's the only thing wrong with me. I need something to drink. I need a damn drink. You gotta get through this process in order to get out of well, here. Well, when can I go home? Well, I'm not a criminal. Okay, I didn't say you were a criminal, but they've already explained to you that you have to stay here a minimum of 12 hours, and after that, you have to post your bail if you want to go home. Well, what is my thing that I'm in jail for? I forgot. Battery domestic violence. I hit somebody? I can't tell you what you did. I wasn't at the scene, okay? All I know is what's happened since you've gotten here. I, I was cool at first. You've been I pretty vocal cool. since you got here. I was real cool. Well, at about 5 a.m., you were threatening my staff in the prayer rest areas, telling them that they better watch out for you because you were violent. I was violent? You I were was making no. jokes. Well, I... When I first came in, I was making jokes and stuff with people. I wasn't trying to be violent. No, you I were was telling really them that they better make... watch out for you because you are violent, and that's a bad threat. Oh, I threat. said I'm crazy. Yeah, I did say I'm yeah, crazy. Yeah, I know. I did say that. But this is not helping my problem by strapping me in this chair, ma'am. I don't think this, I don't think this is helping me very much. I think this calm. is making me more madder and madder. The longer I sit here, I think I'm just gonna get madder and madder, ma'am. Well, I hope so not. Why, because why do I have to sit here, ma'am? Because I'm trying to protect you from yourself. You are banging and kicking and hitting your head on a door. I'm, no, I wasn't hitting my head. I was hitting my feet. If you stay calm mm -hmm. and you work your way out of that chair, I'm going to try and put you in a holding tank like we do everyone else. It's can, all dependent can, on your behavior. Can you take me out now? No, I can't. I'm not convinced that we're not going to have further problems with you. I'll be okay. I will. Unfortunately, I, it's not that simple. I'll be okay. I okay. just don't like being locked down like this. I can't do jail. got to get out of here. Okay, I'm going to come back and check on you. I'm done. Probably in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. We don't like the chair, right? No. All right. You're going to cooperate? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with your feet. Okay. When we take you out of the chair, we're going to try and get you through the booking process, okay? You haven't had your history in physical or seen our doctor yet? I've seen some man. We need to get that done before anything else can happen, okay? Okay. When you see the doc, you need to let him know about your drinking, so if you need anything while you're here, he can help you. Doc will buy me a beer? No, ma'am. We can't give you any alcohol. Okay, you got it. Okay. Stand up for me. Stand up. There you go. Step over here. Go ahead. Put it on the wall for me. Get yeah, she was actually, I patted her down. She was actually out there. She got walked to the slide from out there. Yep, all right, come on. Okay. Come with me, okay? Let's get through this process, okay? Put yourself together, okay? Listen, listen to me. When you go out there, don't be loud. Just listen. Mm -hmm. Listen. Not just yet. Not yet, but you're going to get there. But listen, the longer you, you know, you're loud and stuff like that, the longer it takes for me to get home. You're going to have to calm down before we go out there, okay? You don't have to cry. All right. Pull yourself together before we take you out. All right, hey, come on. The best way. Come on. Okay. Well, you know what? You'll be out. Okay, so if you need to get up, you need to raise your hand and wait till the officer addresses you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? The subject was extremely distraught when she came in. She was irritable. She admitted having alcohol on board. Um, as a result of that, we placed her in our restraint chair for a cool down and observation period. Usually we use that as a tool when we're uncertain how people are going to behave until we get a, a better assessment um, of their cooperation level. It was successful with her. We did take her out. We're trying to get her through the process right now so she can work on getting out of jail. I swear to God, I'd sell six albums just to get me to First Street. I swear to God. I'm in Miami, Trent. Be quiet. Take me to the ghetto. All right, over here. I told him, come from the Bellagio. Pick me up at Caesar. Oh, I'm in Miami. Get back on your bike. Go on, go ahead, young lady. Sorry, ass. Bitch. 
Uh, we noticed her uh, sprinting across Las Vegas Boulevard with our top down. Upon uh, making contact with her, she continued to flash myself and other pedestrians on the street. So we took her into custody, put her back in the vehicle at that time. She became uh, a rate cooperative. Um, we found uh, some cocaine in her purse, so that's where we believe she's under the influence of cocaine. Can I dance? <laughs> I'm drunk. I'm having fun. I'm not vicious. Stay all day. Yeah, you. Stay all day. Go sit down. Hello, honey. Spread the Do you have anything sharp on anything that could cut me? No. What are you, this way, ma'am. What are you doing here? Why are you brought in? Um, burglary charge and possession of stolen property. All right, thank you. Was it somebody's home? Sorry, I'm, just real, I'm embarrassed for even doing it. Well, you got to talk about it, though. You got to get over it. You got to accept it. So, do you kind of see wow, what I'm thinking? I'm an idiot. So, you're just realizing now that you did something wrong? Yes, I'm just now realizing that. What you did was illegal. Yeah. Okay, so you accept responsibility. Yeah. I have a drug problem. Okay. Are you under the influence right now, ma'am? What'd you take? Valium and Xanax. I could tell. Meth. And some meth? Okay, you need to make sure you let medical know that. I want to change my life for real. Okay. You know what the first thing you can do, too? I want to stop using drugs. All right, so we'll get a game plan while we're in here, OK? Come on. This row, all the way down the very last chair, sit and wait for medical. I'm in Miami. Coming through. OK. Well, oh, oh, oh. Yes, vicious. Basically, we got a uh, burglary in progress call where the victim came home um, and found the female on his balcony. Uh, his house had been broke into, and she was in possession of one of the stolen phones in the apartment. Well, I'm noticing that you have the same charges from here before. I know, because I need help, saying, and I, I mean, But do you really, uh, there's people that say they want help, and people that'll tell me that they want help because they think that's what I want to hear. I don't care what you want to hear, ma'am, honestly, because I don't want to live my life like this. I mean, I don't like what I see. <laughs> and, oh, okay. All right, why don't you take your jewelry off? <laughs> I just don't know if you're being <laughs> sincere know. about this, because I hear you crying, but there's no tears. There's no tears. No, there's no tears. I just don't know if you're oh, sincere about I'm this. Sincere. And I'm not just saying it, because why would I waste my on. breath? I'm going to do the best that I can, but I can only do so much in here. You've got to do it. You've got to initiate it. So go ahead and put that put shirt, shirt on. Put the shirt on. Put some panties on, you kid. Stand up. Let's go. I'm in Miami, trick. Stop dancing. I don't like pimps or hoes that work for pimps. I don't like them. Don't like them. Don't like them. Can't stand them. Nasty. Just awful. Don't like them. I am drunk. Take her out of here. Yeah, hold still. I just don't like gangsters, okay? I don't like pimps. That's disgusting. God! I'm sure she would be able to see herself. She realized what kind of a fool she looks like. Are they fighting? They're gonna fight. They're gonna fight. Like, why can't they're we all just get along? You are vicious. You because too. she look at her. Quiet, You're a horrible drunk. Hey. Hey, call me a But Jack like one ignorant person. Ignorant. What? Ignorant. Talk stupid. All right, we need to move her. No, I want to be good. Too late. What? Stop. Thank you, officer. Anything for you. You stay there until you've learned your lesson. Yeah, I guess it's another case of uh, chemical stupidity. Huh? Oh my gosh. You're bad, bitch! You're bad! Well, how's it going? So, have you thought about anything that we discussed? 
maybe go to a meeting again for the first time in a long time. When you say maybe, what does that mean? It just it doesn't sound like you want it. it. Sounds like you're hesitant. Well, the meetings kind of are what led me to my relapse. The girl from my rehab knew that Xanax was mm -hmm. a weakness of mine. She had me go pick up the prescription. <coughs> Do you, are you listening to yourself right now? Do well, you she see? Have me go pick it up, but thank you. She Come asked clean. me to go pick it up for her. For her. For her. And so you had some. You don't want to do the work. I'm I'm sorry if I'm coming down on you, but it's it's the harsh truth. I do want to do the work. I well, just don't know what the work is. I don't. Know you don't want to do, do the work. I think that you tell me what you want to hear. You tell your family what they want to hear. I'm sorry. Listen. I'm okay, just trying to that, I'm just trying to toughen you up. Okay. Listen, do you, do you see the problem, though? You want to be a better person, you got to do the work. Good luck to you. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm going to go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my home.